Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, June 27th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Stockheim, Germany. The NSA has published a mitigation guide for Black Lotus. Uh, Not sure if you remember, but uh, this sort of uh, was revealed uh, last year. Black Lotus is malware that does infect uh, UEFI firmware. In order for Black Lotus to work, it typically needs uh, two vulnerabilities that were patched by Microsoft in January, I believe, early uh, this year. What uh, the NSA points out in their mitigation guide is that patching these vulnerabilities may not necessarily solve the entire Black Lotus problem. The issue that they're pointing out is that there are vulnerable firmware images that are still valid, meaning they're still validly signed. They have not been revoked. So an attacker could do something, well, as we sort of have seen sometimes with the bring your own driver kind of attacks, where an attacker is first essentially downgrading or installing a version of the bootloader that is known to be vulnerable, that is still properly signed. So the user may not necessarily be warned that this is a malicious bootloader, which it isn't. It is not malicious. It's just vulnerable and then allows for the install of additional malware. That's sort of what Black Lotus is all about. So if you're worried about this, take a look at the full NSA mitigation guide for Black Lotus with more details about how the attack works and how you protect yourself from it. But some of the highlights here specifically regarding uh, this uh, issue is that, first of all, you should monitor device integrity uh, measurements and the boot configuration. So detect any change, whether or not it's malicious or not. And then secondly, also customize uh, the UFI secure boot to avoid some of uh, these downgrades. In particular, they are suggesting to add bootloader hashes to the DBX. That's the list that basically lists all of the bootloaders that should not be used. The reason this is not done by default is that this, of course, will break some older bootloaders. So if you, for example, made a bootable copy of a system and now you're trying to, for example, recover and to boot from that uh, older backup, it may still use that uh, older bootloader and may now no longer work. So you have to be a little bit careful in applying these mitigations. Yesterday, when I mentioned that uh, people are receiving uh, these uh, unsolicited uh, smartwatches of some unknown origin, I pointed out that, well, we used to see this with uh, USB sticks. Just as a reminder, USB sticks, malicious USB sticks are not dead yet. New article from Checkpoint about what they are calling a Camaro Dragon, a malware family that does spread via USB sticks. Now, one thing that uh, this kind of malware often does then is that it searches out other USB sticks connected to the same computer to copy itself to it. Apparently, uh, this malware also has a little side effect here where it doesn't always uh, distinguish between a network share and a USB stick. So yes, it will also spread across the network, basically using that same mechanism. And the visualization software Grafana published an interesting patch for a vulnerability that I think may affect other software as well. It's a problem with how they integrated with Azure's Active Directory OAuth. And the problem here is that how do you basically identify a user when you are getting the message back via OAuth from Active Directory here? What Grafana did is that they actually used the Azure Active Directory profile email field, which apparently is not unique across different Azure Active Directory tenants. So another tenant could impersonate essentially a user. So first of all, update Grafana if you're using it, but then if you are integrating with Azure Active Directory via OAuth, well, uh, make sure that you're doing so correctly. 
Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening. If you like this podcast, please let your friends, enemies, pets, kids, anybody else know. Ask them to subscribe. And of course, I hope you subscribe yourself. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.